so much for joining me. If you enjoy these bedtime stories, please consider liking and subscribing. In the description below, you will find a link to purchase tonight's stories as well. You can also leave a comment to let me know what bedtime story you would like to hear next. Enjoy tonight's bedtime stories. Good night. I'm Not Sleepy by Jane Chapman At bedtime, Grandma always carried Mo up to the top of the tree. It's a long way up for a little outlet, she puffed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Grandma smoothed the soft leaves into a cozy nest and sat Mo carefully in the middle. Play with me, giggled Mo. No, sweetie, it's time for bed, smiled Grandma. And she blew him a kiss, then hopped down to her book. The stars were fading when Grandma heard a rustle. Is that you, Mo? Yes, I haven't had my bedtime snack. The bedtime snack. How could I forget? thought Grandma. So she took one. Hop, jump, flutter, flump to the top of the tree. Grandma sat and waited for Mo to finish his bedtime snack. Play with me, Mo sniffled between mouthfuls. No, honey bun. Time to go to sleep, said Grandma. And she blew him a kiss and hopped down to her book. The last bats were going home when leaves began to rain down from above. Oh, Grandma called. Is everything all right? No, and I'm not tucked in. He's not tucked in, sighed Grandma. Up we go. Hop, jump, flutter, flump right to the top of the tree. Grandma plumped and prodded and tucked and rolled until Mo looked like a wiggly green pancake. Grandma sat in the stillness. All was quiet at last. She was just about to start reading when Grandma, Grandma, it's an emergency. What is it? What's the emergency? puffed Grandma. I'm not sleepy, said Mo. I don't want to go to bed. I want to play. Grandma squeezed into Mo's cozy nest next to him. The thing is, Mo, it's bedtime. And at bedtime, someone has to go to bed, she said. So, I have a very good idea. I'll go to bed, and you can stay up. Yes, 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 laughed Mo. And you'll need fresh leaves, and a bedtime snack, and tucking in. And every time I come up, I'll blow you a kiss. Mo was very busy. He didn't have time to play. It was hard work putting Grandma to bed. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Hop, jump, flutter, flump. Most of the stars were gone when a little voice called up from below. Grandma, I'm really sleepy. Of course you are, darling. It's late, said Grandma. And she hopped down the tree to her favorite outlet. On my back, she said. Hop, Grandma carried Mo. Jump all the way up. Flutter to his nest. Flump at the top of the tree. Grandma snuggled Mo down and folded soft leaves.
leaves over him. Time for bed, she smiled. Then Grandma smoothed Mo's feathers gently, blew him a kiss, and hopped back down the tree to her boat. Well, that's true, 
laughed Grandma. You certainly are a big boy. But no matter how big you get, you'll always be my perfect little snuggle bug. Molly smiled again and cuddled in closer. Let me tell you something amazing, Grandma continued. When a new baby comes along, a grandma grows new love. Lily hasn't taken away any of my love for you. I didn't know that about grandmas, Ollie sniffled. Feel better, asked grandma. But Ollie was looking at his baby cousin. Hiya, hiya, chirped Lily. She was covered in crumbles from head to toe. Oh my, this outlet needs a bath, laughed grandma. But watch out, Ollie. Lily loves to splash. Just like me, cheered Ollie. Come on, Lily. Let's splash, Grandma. Splish, splash, splosh. No More Cuddles by Jane Chapman Barry lived by himself deep in the forest. He liked strolling around on his own, listening to the birds and eating juicy berries. But Barry was never on his own for long. It was the same thing every morning. Before you could say, Huggle Wuggles, Fluffkins, we missed you. Hey, it's Cuddle Monster. Hooray! Snuggles is here. Barry was smothered in cuddles. Barry liked cuddling. Of course he did. But he was fed up with being smothered and stroked and patted and fluffed all the time. I just want to be alone, he sighed. I know. I'll make a disguise so no one will know it's me. But Barry's disguise didn't work at all. Maybe if I was a little more scary, he wondered. So he put on an angry face and growled, Grr! Oh, poor cuddle monster, said Badger. Are you a bit grumpy today? Hey, everyone, Barry needs a snuggle buggle. Barry groaned. The cuddles had to stop. So he painted a huge sign. Wanted, comforting creature for cozy cuddles. Could this be you? Lots of animals wanted the job. But none of them was quite right. Too tiny. Too spiky. Too stinky. Barry was about to give up when he saw the fluffiest, snuggliest creature ever. Bear was perfect. His tummy was snuggly. His fur was silky. And his hug was just right. Barry was delighted. Bunnies, badger, beaver, he called. Anyone want a cuddle? Me, 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 I want a cuddle, the animals cried. Big and small, they rushed as fast as they could toward the bear and zoomed straight past him. What are you doing, cried Barry. Don't cuddle me, cuddle Bear. But it was too late. The animals threw themselves at Barry. Barry wibbled. He wobbled. Then he toppled right over. Splat! Right into the swamp. The swamp was slimy, mucky, and yucky. The animals looked at Barry in horror. 
where is all the Fluffy gone? They cried. He's not snuggly at all. One by one, the animals hopped off to get clean, leaving Barry all by himself. No more cuddles for me, he grinned. Well, not for a little while, anyway. Then he wiggled his huge toes, smiled his enormous smile, and settled down happily into the mud. Peace at last. Mm-hmm.